Even hardened autocrats have a soft spot. For Vladimir Putin, it was his late German teacher, Mina Yuditskia Berliner. She was Jewish and moved to Israel. And when Putin found out she lived on the fourth floor without an elevator, he had Russia buy her an apartment in Tel Aviv. A person came and told me that Putin wants to give me a present, a flat. I started crying. I told him I didn't need any. He said that he received an order. Mina died and bequeathed the flat to Russia to give to Putin. We've tracked down Putin's flats on Pinska Street in Tel Aviv. Let's find out whether Mrs. Yuditskia Berliner left any secrets about the Russian president with her neighbors. No one's home. Must be Putin's guard dogs. This place is as secretive as the Kremlin. Five floors later, we finally found our mole. Hello. Hello. We're doing a report about Putin's flat downstairs. We're wondering whether we could talk to you. Okay, please. Thank you. Okay. Fantastic. We're in. What did she think of Putin? What do you think of your own father? She used to talk about him, and her eyes would sparkle. At every meeting, whether outside with her caregiver or when I saw her at home, she had a picture of Putin pinned to her chest with pride. If you ask me whether she slept with it, I assume sometimes she fell asleep with Putin's picture on her chest. We tried to gain access to Putin's flat by getting the key off Mina's caregiver. Have you got a key to the flat? No, no, I gave it to the lawyer on Sunday. The Russians haven't said yet whether they'll sell or rent the apartment or use it for embassy staff. She left the apartment to the Russian Federation and threw them to Putin. And if they don't want it, it should be sold at auction and the money given to orphanages in Russia. Mina doted on Vladimir Putin. She was a lonely woman, really lonely, not much of a talker. But whenever someone mentioned Putin, she could talk non-stop. And Putin, who could negotiate in German thanks to her classes in Leningrad, returned the love. And there was never a visit to Israel by an official Russian delegation or Putin himself where she wasn't called for a meeting. Every time Putin came, they used to call her, and a taxi came to take her away. So what secrets did the teacher spill about the Russian strongman? I couldn't get any secrets out of her about the past. But she herself was a mysterious character. She never spoke about her past, except for one thing. There's a secret whose substance she took to the grave. She hinted to me at one point that she had worked in the Israeli Air Force. So far, so secretive. So could Putin move on to Pinska Street? We're happy for Putin to become our neighbor. We'd have no trouble getting money off him for the maintenance. I don't think I'd have to be too aggressive with him like other neighbors. But right now, the Russians are in arrears of one month. Come back for the next interview when Putin lives here. It's second road back from the Black Sea. I mean, the Mediterranean. Thank you. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think that's likely. Elon Levy, I24 News.